Welcome everyone, in today's video I wanted to cover 10 projects that are live on Solana mainnet right now that you can use to potentially qualify for an airdrop in the future. So there's no guarantee that any of these projects will give an airdrop out to early users, but it's definitely worth your time, especially since you'll be able to learn how a lot of these DeFi projects work when you experiment with all of them, as well as the fact that um, because fees are so cheap on Solana, it's not really going to cost you any money at all to test out um, all of these projects. And the risk that you take, you might lose like a very small amount in fees, like, you know, maybe $10. But if any one of these pays out, in an airdrop then it's well worth your time so the first project we're going to be taking a look at is Socian. so Socian is a liquid staking derivative on solana so essentially what you do you can come to um socian.finance and then stake your soul with them and then they'll give you scn soul as a liquid staking derivative so you can go ahead and take that stake solana anywhere else in the ecosystem use it as collateral borrow against it so on and so forth so they have in fact actually airdropped a nft to some of the early users so i think like the first five thousand people who were staking with socian um got airdropped an nft and when it first went trading on the secondary market you can find it on digitalize it was worth like one soul it's now worth 0.2 soul uh, and I've, I've got mine and i'm still holding it in case it's worth something in the future but it definitely is worth your time to actually go ahead and use these projects like i said like that was an instant uh 200 profit there if i decided to have sold it off when i first received it the next project is asol so asol essentially what it does it aims to take all of the liquid staking derivative products on solana combine them and then combine them all into one token so uh, what you would do is you deposit msol or lido stake sol and then you are able to mint ASOL and they've currently got 2.97 uh, million dollars in TVL earning interest across two stake pools and so their mission is by minting ASOL you can help secure the Solana network from censorship whilst earning sustainable passive interest so by combining all of the liquid staking derivatives together um, you don't have like the risk that any single one like fails which is quite cool and it is my belief that most projects out there that are live on mainnet and don't already have a token will most likely have a token um, in the future so the next project we're going to take a look at is chest finance so i've mentioned this on the channel a couple of times before but uh, chest finance is um, a yield boosting engine so essentially what you can do um, you can earn yield on your soul by staking your soul um, into one of the chests and what they do is they take your soul and then sell a covered call and then they use the premiums from the covered calls that they sell and then return that to stakers. So the projected APY right now is 7%. And uh, they're going to be using MSOL in the future as well. So you can get additional yield upon your MSOL, uh, which is great. So you can like theoretically, let's just say the projected APY is similar to there. You'd be able to get like 14% APY um, on your soul, which is quite good actually. So definitely go ahead and give this a try if you don't want to sell any of your soul and you just want to gain interest on it then this might be uh, an attractive strategy for you the next project is frankium so frankium i've talked about this a lot a lot on my channel and i suppose most of you have gone gone ahead and used this by now but uh, frankium is a leveraged yield farming platform uh, so you can do farming here so you can farm like loads of these different pools like we have kvsdc here so that's still paying out like 11 million percent apy if you want to free x leverage this uh, but they also have different farming strategies here so you can delta neutral yield farm um uh, wormhole ETH usdc and i've done videos on my channel how you can do this yourself and then if we go into the lending tab you can go ahead and lend out uh, different assets here for a return and those are used by the yield farmers um, you have ray here that's you know above 100 percent uh apy and they're also doing an incentives program so definitely go ahead and check this out if you're interested the next project is drift so drift is a decentralized perpetual futures exchange so uh, it's very similar to mango markets but it has less functionality because it just came out live on mainnet and of course they don't have a token so you can go here you can go uh long or short on soul perp Bitcoin perp and ETH perp and lots of new strategies have now arrived due to the fact that Drift is now live so the funding APR here on Drift is like you can either go ridiculously high or ridiculously low so you can do uh, different delta neutral strategies using Drift and Mango markets 
Um, but right now, like some of the features are bare bones, so you can only uh, market, buy or sell. Um, but the UA is quite slick, and I recommend using it for uh, small traders. Although the fee is 0.1%. The fact of the matter is, is that you will barely get any slippage if you're trading here and you don't have to mess around with any order books. Um, one more thing to note about Drift is that you can only uh, use USDC as collateral for right now. I don't know if they're going to change that in the future or it's just their hard uh, stance that they're going to do. But I definitely recommend trying out Drift because we've seen uh, like DYDX, for example, they did an airdrop and they did an airdrop for early users. So I think, you know, it might be similar for uh, Drift. The next project is Casio. So <laughs> Casio is uh, a new like sort of stable coin. So how you can use it, you deposit Sabre, USDT, USDC, LP tokens, and then you can mint cash against it. So cash is a stable coin. Again, it's, you know, one to one with uh, USDC. And if you mint your cash, you take it to Quarry Protocol and LP in the cash LP pools, you can start receiving Gmu, which is a which is a meme coin. So this isn't the, the governance token. They have talked about having a governance token in the future. And I bet that they will most likely, you know, airdrop that governance token to early users of Casio. I mean, I'm, I'm not guaranteeing any of this, but I just feel as if, you know, that's probably what they're going to do. The next project is Psy Options. So Psy Options is, you know, like an OG project here on Solana. Um, it's one of the first options protocols that have actually gone live. So you can go ahead and trade uh, Bitcoin and Solana. And then you can do uh, different expiry dates here as well and different contract sizes. So if you're into trading options, uh, you can definitely go ahead and try this out. Um, I'll probably be doing a video on this in the future. I'm going to start trying out options on Solana because I think that uh, it's definitely a good environment for doing so because eFlayer one bad environment for options because, you know, because of the fees, um, but on Solana because it's so cheap. You know, it's, it's a lot easier to do, but there's still a lot more work to be done in the option space. No one's perfected the formula yet. The next project is Risk Swap. So Risk Swap is a multi-chain DEX, as you can see here. So they do spot trading, perpetual futures trading, and they're also looking to do options trading in the future. The next project is Atrix. So I've talked about this before. Um, it's quite popular, Atrix. So you can use it for uh, doing your basic swaps. They also have uh, lots of different farms that you can go ahead here uh, deposit and start earning yield another cool feature of atrix is that they have their own permissionless farms so uh, people can come here and create their own farms uh, some of them are scams so you know watch out for that and others just pay out really high percent apys so i think there are one or two here that were like like this for example look how high this apy number is and there's you know it's definitely a scam <laughs> like don't bother going into that one and Astra, I also think rugged. So, you know, be careful when looking at all of these high APY farms on Atrix Finance because some of them can be rugs, but some of them are like legit. And they do have partnerships with other projects in the ecosystem as well. And the last project I wanted to talk about today is Jupiter Aggregator. So I've been shilling this quite hard uh, because it's like my favorite place to do swaps on Solana right now. So Jupiter aggregates all of the top Solana exchanges. Uh, so like Orca, Radium, Serum, Mercurial Finance, Aldrin, Sabre, Dex Labs, and Penguin Finance. So you can go here and trade whatever you want against whatever you want. And it will give you sort of like the best route that you can take. It actually will give you all the routes that you can take. And then it will give you uh, potentially what you would receive. But right now, this is the best route that you can take. And you can obviously mess around and see what the best routes you can take for different swaps and make sure to be responsible when checking out all of these uh, projects um, it's more likely that you'll qualify for an airdrop if you're an active user and you don't just like use it once so if you're going to do swaps start doing your swaps through jupiter aggregator and atrix if you want to go ahead and stake some solana go ahead and use asol and Socian. Um, you want to do leverage yield farming use francium you want to trade perps use drift do you know what i mean like be an active user of these platforms and if they are going to airdrop a token it's more likely that you'll actually qualify for one